dog, like when it was your first time having sex, do you think you should have waited, dog? When you like with now with everything you know now. Yeah, I wish I did. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I wish I did. I won't lie to you. I think like um I think it's forbidden knowledge, dog, and forbidden pleasure, bro. Cause like hey, that thing is so addictive, bro. Like sex is so addictive, guys. Like, and people don't talk about this. It's like when you Is because like he really. came about it like with regards to like he came about it on that tip of uh business. We are told he came on like I feel like that feature was a business motion when I, yeah I think they think it was a takeover. Yeah, it, it was a business motion. Yeah. Then it was a personal motion. You understand? And when you look at a person like Kendrick, bro, we are born with like that man who is always he's always conscious about his image and people like he um Zotin collaborates with. He, that's why I know I'm a collab. I'm a collab with Kapaya, you baby team, which is um in Tanzania. You understand more lately. Lately, yeah, more than like people that we actually know. You know, prominent people. Do you understand? Compared to back in the day, so I feel like, especially with regards to this situation, I bro, like the approach that Drake took was not the way, boy. Was not the way to solve business. Like but also, but, but but also the way Kendrick went about it was it okay? Yeah, you hate Kendrick, yeah. but it's fine. I don't hate Kendrick, dog. But like he's like if if I'm coming to you and trying to make things, you and then like I feel like Kendrick was very confrontational. That's my problem. I feel like if Kendrick came to to Drake and was like, okay, let's let's talk about this and solve it, it could have been solved. But I feel like Kendrick didn't want to do that. He wanted to be confrontational because he has the power to be. You yeah, understand? yeah, it's it's like when I'm in Zindoro and me, I have the power to confront you and tell you shit. I'll do that, definitely. But but that's the that's yeah, because like them and I got, I mean, not in a bad way, but like. But it Udrek, didn't have to go I, to war. I, I, I feel like I feel no. Drake and Donald like somehow began to ah, okay. There was yeah yeah like, he be, be, began to be disrespectful because of Ama E Drake and whatnot. Like I, I feel like he felt like he was on top of the world because he has been consistent consistently dropping. And for a period of five years, I think uh, Kendrick didn't draw up, I'm told. So it was a thing of, now, for me personally, when I look at the situation, he developed the balls of like, okay, now, since the pro hasn't dropped, I'm the king. We are told. And then the pro came back. Or Kanja. <laughs> and the pro came back. Who's the king now? But either way, guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back again. This is what's popping worldwide. I'm your host, the and I'm joined. By the one and only It's you the Off-Blood Prince They call me the Lynn Chocolatier And I do not agree with this bro But anyway, let's continue <laughs> Let's continue And talking. shout out to more music productions uh, They're the reason why we look good, man How are you, my brother? You know how it goes, man The yeah. one with the, without the intro <laughs> 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 Now I'm easy, guys How are you? We 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 joined by um who's the Spisa M Lamini the yeah. manager and and yeah. Kelly Penn. Yeah, Manzi works. You yeah. know what I'm saying? With the with the <laughs> delicious brew worldwide. Mm-hmm. So yeah, dog, a lot has been happening this past week. Actually, this whole uh this whole year, in fact. Um, so I just wanna start with. Let me just start with how you feel. Wait, wait, let me start about how you feel. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Yo, I thought you were gonna start with the topic. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I have to make sure that everyone's feeling good. Is everyone feeling good, guys? Are you guys normal? Be easy, man. We survived the next accident. Nin, it was bad. Hey, sure. <laughs> but we out here. We breathing. You know what goes. Man. Shout out to God one time. Yeah, shout out to God one time. But hey, man. Um, I I just want to get into the DD situation, guys. Like I've been following the story and I. <laughs> I've been learning a lot about like Didi's career and it's crazy, bro. Like one of the interesting things before I get into the whole case, now, I didn't know that Didi actually blew up uh by hosting parties. Oh, yeah. hosting parties. Yeah. That is crazy. So now it actually supports the statement that I'm about to like uh speak about um with regards to actually him hosting 
the parties and um, him being addicted to sex um, as claimed. But I realized that what Cat William, Williams had said last year, actually, was it last year or beginning of the year? I think it was beginning of the year. Yeah, beginning of the year about um, that there's God and there's the other side and things are going to be revealed in 2024. And I feel like we're seeing sort of like the glimpses of things being revealed in well, 2024. Well, I feel like you're inspired by Daddy. What's going on? No, no. I, no What's going I, on? I'm inspired by the whole situation, bro. Like, besides okay. Daddy itself, like okay. just the whole situation, like people are now actually coming out, you know. Um, it was sad to see what he had done to Casa Ventura, for sure, like, I mean, the, the video has been surfacing over the internet, right? All over the internet, rather. So, like, I, me seeing that, I, I, was, I was heartbroken, bro. Because I won't lie, like, me knowing Diddy, especially knowing him uh, back in the day with Notorious B.I.G., you know, like, he was one of, like, my favorite artists. How you old know? are you, bro? Like, say, are you How like, old oh, are you, bro? bro. <laughs> no, I would say, I would say, Aish, guys, like, I can't disclose. You would like, say. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. 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 So you know someone is old when he starts by saying. Yeah, I, would I would say. say. Yo. <laughs> around, when yo. they start saying around. Yo. You know? <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, man. Ish, yeah. I, the thing is, I, I grew up in a, a family where by there were music listeners, so. They would jam to a lot of B.I.G., a lot of um, Tupac. So I'd say I took, basically I learned a lot of um, Zutin. That became your favorite music because it was the only music you were hearing or like from the music you were hearing. Nah, I heard a lot of old school music through my family. Through your family, yeah, which so, is why you like the yeah, genre. Yeah, that nah, so, makes sense. Yeah, so like, um, that's the... the, the where was I? Where was I now? And you're inspired by Diddy. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm inspired. No, I'm not inspired by Diddy. I'm inspired by the whole case. <laughs> the whole I'm case. I'm inspired by the whole yeah, case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just to give people an update on what's going on, right? Uh-huh. Um, before, you, were, you were saying Cassie is no angel. Or what were you saying? Oh, you feel bad for Cassie. Yeah. So, oh, I, yeah. Ju- I just want to read a report. This uh-huh. is a report from um, the Star newspaper, right? So, police found 1,000 bottles of baby oil and, and uh, lubricant. Along with an AR-15 rifles with defaced serial numbers, when they raided, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when they raided a uh, home of Sean Diddy Combs in Los Angeles and Miami Beach, Florida, six months ago, according to prosecutors, the rapper and producer used his business empire, including his record label Bad Boy Entertainment, to transport women as well as male sex workers across state lines to take part in recorded sexual performances called freak offs which are funded by allegedly jay-z mm. which is interesting but either way in which the mo- the music mogul would watch and masturbate prosecutors <laughs> 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 say mm. so <laughs> so now like everyone is coming out right everyone has been coming out ever since Last year, I November. Was, it's coming out. <laughs> yeah, everyone is coming out. Everyone is oh, special. Pause. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, everyone is coming out. So, the interesting people that came out, and I just want to obviously speak about them because there's a lot of people that came out, guys. But it's it's his producer. So, his producer came out and said, for sure, you guys know Little Rod, right? It was like, hey, Didi has been um, sexually abusing me. Right, forcing me to sleep with other men as well as transport sex workers in order for him to have uh, sex parties in his uh, houses, you know, to, in home, uh, mansions rather. So for me, it, it struck me, bro. Like it, it touched me personally because he didn't only do that, but he also <clears throat> ordered the bro to buy dildos, you know, to, and yeah. I. And they, the dildos were found to be... Let me just read the number so people know the actual number. The actual. Yeah, the dildos are 784. Yeah, who was counting these things? <laughs> no, yeah. they raided the house. They raided the, the house. The FBI. Yeah. The, the police In the police did. report. Oh, okay, yeah. So my question is, right? My question is, was Didi part of a cult 
or was he really just attracted or was he really just um what can i say addicted to sex so much that he found basically found some sort of relief when he was actually hosting such parties or was it him practicing a ritual because some experts claim that Didi was actually practicing rituals with regards to the whole case. Some say he has been molested before, so he's actually reciprocating trauma with regards to things that are happening now. So I don't know, guys. I, I just want to discuss that. What do you guys have to say? Is he performing rituals or does he have a, uh, a, mol- <laughs> a sexual addiction as well as? Suffering trauma from him being molested. For me, it's tricky. If like you're suffer, if you're addicted to sex, why involve other people? Why involve like? It takes two to fuck. No, but like it takes two. Some some three. <laughs> Four. <laughs> hey man. Hey man. Like what I'm saying, bro, is why don't you keep it between yourself and the people you're mating with? Because now with him, like you, there's 750 dildos, there's 1,000 duplicates, and then there's other celebrities that he's bringing in and he's not meeting with them, but he's recording them and mm. doing their thing. Like, it seems if you have an addiction, why don't you just like get your own little people and do your thing in a room or a motel somewhere and then just leave? Mm. Uh, but because now you have 150 cases or whatever cases, it's just, it's the, the ritual thing probably makes more sense which I maybe barely was performing a ritual or another thing and that I have even knowing though yeah and another another thing could be um for me he was probably uh wanting to get those people into one place and find a way to blackmail them yes yeah, also well obviously he used that as blackmail to basically to some uh, some sort of business so this is what he like allegedly mm. uh used to do right so i bring it to my party okay cool mm. i obviously put illegal stuff around the party and i make you participate in illegal activities and take pictures of you and then obviously i'll use that as leverage to blackmail you to sign certain deals yeah you understand so that's how he also used to move right but also, let's not forget that, yeah, allegedly. But also, let's not forget that these parties, right? Celebrities wanted to be there because that's where they had the most fun, and that's where celebrities uh, had to basically they were they were not charged for them being themselves. Like they felt protected. I don't know if I'm making sense, mm. right? Like there was no media or someone's gonna speak bad about you after the party. It was just a thing of like it's only celebrities partying with celebrities and like now dog if you can go to a club and do something that's like out of your character you'll be taking a photo and you'll be judged because of that right so that's my take about it but also the reason why I'm, I, I wanna um, be basically I'm taking the side of him being sexually addicted to sex right sexually addicted to sex Okay, addicted to sex. Being a sex addict, yeah. Being a sex addict. Mm. Either way. <laughs> Lol. It's because even in other interviews, bro, like he couldn't hold himself. Mm, which So yeah, bro, like uh, the bro couldn't hold himself, man. Like he was addicted to sex, bro. Yeah, but guys, I just want to hear yeah. Mo's um Yeah, we had a technical difficulty. So ish, yeah. If, if you see funny things happening... It's because of the technical difficulties, yeah. Yeah, I was also gonna yeah. more or less say what Huey said because I think, I think there's many men out there who've been molested, but they're not acting like Didi. Because apparently, Vela the stats do show that um, men are more molested than female females. Yeah. Ha. Huh? Yeah. Oh. In this room, I think it's something like um, I, I just forgot the numbers, but maybe like in a room, out of ten, there's like. Probably six or seven guys molested. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> ah, yo, yeah, the stats yo, are yo, like yo, that. Yo, yeah, yo. yeah. So but if, I tell, uh, it makes sense. Yeah, continue more. Yeah. Yeah, I was just gonna say, if 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 that's the case, then I don't think that guy is just an issue of him being molested, and then that trauma is just playing out. 
throughout, I guess, his entire career. Now, I, I think it's a bit of both. I could be wrong, but like, I think it's a bit of both. I, I think it's a thing, Yoguti, once he got power, he now started revealing those traumas and just think he, he thought maybe him doing all these things, he wasn't, he, he was probably going to get, get away with it, right? Numb the Which pain. Which wasn't. Yeah. Nah, I'm not no, right. not, you, numb you, pain, you numb nah. the pain with... Mar- it's a different that, situation. Yeah. I think it's a thing, Yoguti, let's say, for example, I don't know, you, you have this bad thing, right? Like, um, maybe you are a womanizer. Yeah, let's say you are a womanizer, but you broke right now. <laughs> why, why is that example? Why is that example? Okay, yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. Oh, why is it why defending you? It's fine. Why is it defending you? It's just an example. Yeah. Right? Let's say you are a womanizer, but you broke right now. Yeah. Once you start getting money and power, you start Can doing I? it more and more and more, and yeah. you're thinking, now that you have all those two things that you've always wanted in your life, the money and the power, now you start thinking that you are above the world don't tell and uh, what it has to offer so yeah I, 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 that's what i think i think it's a bit of both also i feel like adrenaline like maybe he wanted to see how much he could get away with it though because mm. that's the thing about power it drives you like crazy to a point where you're like hey, yeah you always want more so he probably wanted to see how much he could push the limit of whatever that he was doing hey but man. it's not making sense yo guys if you are addicted you go to a hotel with your person or whatever. So, because there was a point where, but I think um his bodyguard was saying that he, there were there were instances where he would abuse his mother, and eh, but yeah, I mean like I just just to much, speak yeah. just to speak on on that stat. I think the reason why more more boys than girls have been molested, but we don't see that, is because most boys will go to the grave with it. Could. Yeah, yeah, I think with, uh, another thing, I remember I had this chat right in college with a friend of mine, and he was telling me, we were talking about that stat, right? Mm. And he was telling me, Oguti, for boys, it doesn't really matter because at that time, you're not thinking you're being molested, you're thinking I'm having sex. Yo. Yo. Yeah, when the woman comes to you and does his thing or her thing, um, you're probably thinking, yeah, I've always wanted to do this. But, but but also, I think that those stats is probably boys molesting boys. Also, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are the girls molesting one? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I know. I know. So, 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 you don't know. <laughs> so, 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 I, I see the problem. Yeah. Yeah. I now see the problem. <laughs> you don't see it as a problem. That's the problem. Yeah, shit, crazy. Yeah. But yeah, what do you have for us? Please? But also, dog, like when it was your first time having sex, do you think you should have waited, dog? When you like with now with everything you know now, yeah, I wish I did. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I wish I did. I won't lie to you. I think like, um, I think it's forbidden knowledge, dog, and forbidden pleasure, bro. Cause like hey, that thing is so addictive, bro. Like sex is so addictive, guys. Like, and people don't talk about this. It's like when you, I, I'll reference it with uh, the first time you actually took a sip of alcohol, like anything pleasurable, guys. Like, it's addictive. It depends on how you control it. Because even alcohol is addictive, right? It makes you feel good, right? Yeah, but but, but obviously with, with my chat, dog, I wish, like, we all could have sex with that one person that is your wife or husband, and then you find them, and then it's chai, dog. Then now having 20 different memories of one thing with people, you understand? I think, like, even when the Bible went to, like, um, when the Bible was, like, you need to marry a virgin or whatever, it, it was trying to prevent the thing of like bonding because they say apparently it's it gets harder for women who have had multiple sexual partners to bond with you through sex because now they can compare you to the other experiences yeah. and that affects the relationship yeah true because true. if you're dating a version a version is not going to be like ishmara Maka 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 gives it to me nice. Yeah, he, he is pu- <laughs> yeah. Pirio, Hugh is not doing the job. And I'm yeah. not doing the job at that yeah. time. Fede, okay, Hugh, I hear you on your fact, man. But also in the Bible, if you're going to mention the Bible, because you did, I'll give you an example of Mary and Joseph. Mary was actually like a, a teenager, bro. And Joseph was actually older, you feel, than Mary. So most of the time in the Bible, it was an old guy marrying a young girl. That's how they knew she was actually a virgin. You feel? So either way, it's still fucking up. 
Oh, so like what you're saying, it's harder for us to do it in this generation because we're not. Yeah, yeah. it's pedophilia, yeah, basically. Stage yeah. yeah. time rape. Yeah, that's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's insane. insane. But hey, man. Mm. So what's the solution, guys? But also in the in Bible time, they there. lived they lived longer, right? Mm. Maybe that's why it was allowed or something. Ah, but for me, what's the solution to the situation? Go to Cape Verde. Go to Cape Verde. <laughs> that's the solution. <laughs> uh, guys, I actually have the stairs here. So it says that according to LawrenceKids.org, um, one in three girls are sexually abused before the age of 18. And then one in five boys are sexually abused before the age of 18 also. Mm. So, five, one in three, so yeah. Yeah. But that means... Yeah, yeah, in South Africa. I'm sure it's one in two and a half. <laughs> I, okay. We are the rape capital of the world at yeah. some point. I don't know if we uh, still Brazil, are. Brazil. Now it's oh, now it's Brazil. Brazil. And then it also uh, says here, according to d2l.org, 30% of children are abused by family members in the world. Yeah. Ah, that's true. That's, that's true. true. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I feel like that's why these things happen. Yeah, I must say it in like less privileged places because most of the time we are sharing rooms and stuff like that. Or what, like what, what's, or am I wrong? maybe you could be right but yeah. at, at the same time i think i think there's whether you're rich or you're poor and you if you're are sick, less you're sick. yeah if you're sick you're sick if, yeah. if, yeah, if you're, sick, if you're, you're sick. wicked you're wicked yes. yeah hmm. so uh, i guess the poor is wicked <laughs> according to stuff <Stephanie. laughs> <laughs> but yeah bro. speaking speaking of being wicked what's your guys' take on dating a friend's ex <laughs> nah, it's a, it's an interesting topic. I'm not thinking of dating anyone's ex. I'm just asking. Anyway, I think we've uh, spoken about this um on the first episode. Of, oh no, it was the men's conference. Yeah, the men's yeah, conference. Yeah, but it yeah. wasn't. <laughs> hey man. Okay, so I, my take on the dog, like, hey, it, it's toxic, this thing, guys. Like, it's generally toxic. But, hey, sometimes, like, you never know, bro. Maybe your friend's ex is your soulmate, you know? I was going to say that. What if, what yeah, if, <laughs> like, what if you what, if, what yeah. if you fall in love with them? Bro, like, yeah, dog. What if, like, they actually your soulmate? You understand? Because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog, like, that's the situation. And sometimes, like, I've I've seen I don't I don't know if you know this uh series. Can I it's Lincoln? Is it Lincoln's Ah uh, not yeah like so this bro goes to jail, right? For something that he didn't commit. Ne? And then in the process, like his friends Yeah, prison break. He, oh, nah, it's not no. prison break, dog. It's it's a dark bro. Like okay, yeah. Yeah. Then uh during the process, the bro who's like like me, dog, you go take care of my family, young mm. Todd. So and then in the process of you taking good care of my family, you always had a crush on my hand, yeah. which is my wife. You yeah. know? So obviously you give my hand comfort. And then now my hand starts falling for you. And then now you obviously don't know how to control those emotions, bro. Because like it's something that you've always longed for, you know. And then you find yourself now um, operating my wife. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, cool. You operate my wife. And then as you're operating my wife, you feel guilty. So you do not come and see me. In jail. In jail. Crazy. The way you used to. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And that's when I realized, well, it's like, nah, poison. Like, something is going on. Something is off here, right? Mm. And then I, okay, cool. I shall prom. I continue doing what I'm doing. I find a way to get out of prison, right? So I become a lawyer in prison and I get myself out. Yeah. Okay, when I get myself out of jail, you obviously now things are a bit like awkward between you and my wife now because I've came out, you know? And then my wife obviously has the balls to tell me and be like, hey, you know what? I don't love you anymore. No, I've been fucking your pool. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? And then, yeah, they married. And then obviously, the me, I'm like to you, okay, cool. Um, I come to you, I'm mad. The air talk, like, 
you did this to me and I was giving you money and whatnot. And you know that I didn't do this thing, but you had the audacity to sleep with my woman. But I cool, as long as you took care of my family, I take it like that, you know. And then I get mad of my wife that, okay, so you guys have been doing some shady stuff. It's like, cool. I'll just have my own space and I'll leave you guys to get shop. So in the process of that happening, the bro, I think allegedly, uh, apparently, the bro now gets involved in another situation, you know. So you get involved in another incriminating situation and now you have to ask me for a favor to be your lawyer because you are broke now. Then yeah, man. Uh, it continues. Then yeah, it ends like that. No way. You know. You know what's the problem, ne? Hmm. If if a friend has a crush on your girl, he might act like he's not doing anything, ne? He might act like he's not doing anything to lead the girl on. But trust me, there's things that he's doing to lead her on, and he's just acting like I. You understand? He's just acting like he's not doing those things. Can I tell you something? Yeah. If like my hand were to come into the room. Yeah. Would you t- treat her with respect or would you treat her, uh, treat her with disrespect? Obviously, I'll treat her with respect, but because she's your hand, even the, the if, if like, if a, if a normal hand comes into the room, obviously, maybe a, even the hug can be a certain way. But with, with your hand, I'm, I'm even you see, give the you see, handshake. If, if even the hug is a problem. Nah, I'm going to maybe give her a handshake or if I'm hugging, make sure it's on the side. So I'm doing like this and giving her the side <laughs> hug yeah that so yeah, avoid those respect. things bro it's it's respect so bro. would you be kind or not yeah i would be kind but but i wouldn't i would set the bound <laughs> mm. okay. but, but but obviously dog when 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 a so bro- if she needs help would you help <laughs> it what type of help though no oh, just a normal know. help let's say she's like hey huey can you please give me a glass of water yeah, obviously I'm gonna do that. It's mm-hmm. like because I'm I'm sitting next to the water. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be weird about it, but mm-hmm. there's certain things that I'd make sure. Like I'm not gonna have your hands now, my dog. Mm-hmm. If I met her through you, if like it's the first time I'm meeting her mm-hmm. today, I'm not gonna wanna have her number. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Yeah, that's that's respect. Yeah. Like, what do you wanna do? <laughs> yeah, because like what <laughs> what are we talking so about? Do you but understand? you would have her IG though, right? <laughs> 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 if, if, if if maybe it's a situation you would see we both knew the hand before she became your hand then yeah but i'm not gonna follow your hand after that's yeah nah. that's my point mm-hmm. or like or like or like if the if your hand obviously follows me on instagram i'm gonna follow her back dog because i'm like oh okay <laughs> it's not gonna be a situation <laughs> hey, Amara, what's, what's wrong with following yeah, what's wrong? Your, your <laughs> That, like this these small guy. things you see these small things we might take them as like what's wrong with that but like they always like enlighten something talk. yeah they always enlighten something even if our aunt starts to do that yeah. and you're obviously not interested mm-hmm. but because of you are acting out of good character you are kind like you've said you're showing some act of service and that's what a hand likes you understand so those steps and I'm luring the hand. But here's you. here's my chat. Now here's my chat. If a hand comes into the room and she's like, okay, I'm sitting next to that glass of water. She's like, Huey, can you please pass me the glass of water? What am I supposed to do? I'm not supposed to pass her the glass of water. No, I'm that's saying, me being weird. That's bro. that's what I'm saying. You're going to do that, and obviously that's natural. So you are being kind. So I'm, it's yeah, not just, being kind. But, 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 that's practical. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, being yeah. you, dog. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, and and if now we're as a boyfriend you are used to, or she's used to you doing that for her, then she's not going to take it as something new that's nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so when your hand walks okay, in the Unless okay. if you are the asshole and your friend is the good guy, that's when she's going to start to change and oh, see oh, him differently. And also, let's do it like okay, this. Check. If your hand walks in the room, how do you want me to okay, treat check. your hand? No, no, check. For, for me, it's a situation of, like, it's not a situation of a change, boy. Because how you act, like, you, you're a nigga, bro. Like, if you are kind towards women, and if you are taught that at home, that's your character. That's who you are. But with the hand, how the hand <laughs> takes it, that's where I'm coming from. But now passing yeah, your hand water is being no, kind. No, no, <laughs> no I'm, me, I'm just so, showing you how the hand will receive it. it. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not saying what you're saying, what you're doing is wrong. Oh, so the problem is the hand. That's what I'm saying, right? And obviously, like, in that situation, you passing it, you might have pure intentions, my brother, right? 
Mm. Might have pure intentions, mm-hmm. but how the hand receives it, it's like no act of so, service. So, so in that situation, <laughs> how do you want me to, to? What do you want me to do? What basically do you bro? Like ah, be honest ah. to yourself. What, but what, but what, what I was trying, <laughs> me what I was trying to show you. Listen, me what I was trying yeah. to show you. Don't do me. What I was trying to show you is that you were saying that um uh, some rules instigate uh what 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 hands tend to become basically what the situation. Oh, sometimes you're saying it's the heart. So yeah. me, I'm saying that it's not the goose, it's <laughs> the heart. Peter is too defensive right No, now. I'm not being too defensive. Me, I'm you, just trying to like, show you my point. Are you saying something about yourself? Oh. <laughs> okay, about what now? About what now? About what? No, bro. <laughs> I'm just showing you the situation, dog. About what now? Because like me, I'm just showing that. Yeah, dog. no, I understand. Yeah. yeah we but understand. let me challenge you now. I'm going to say, okay, cool. you can still be like the good guy and whatsoever and then Fede, the perspective might be different from the chick, right? But my chat is maintain. Also, at the end of the day, it's the guy who decides. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you maintain a boundary, Guti. No yeah. matter what, you go to school. She doesn't even. Yeah, you are right. Yeah, yeah. Lapa, you are right. Yeah. Lapa both agree on you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I definitely. But do. but if you also make it easy for her, like to a point where if your hand is coming into the room, now I'm cracking all the jokes. Now all of a sudden I have I'm the, the numbers. I'm yeah. the funny guy. Now all, all, all of a sudden, like although Vele, although Vele, like as gents, you know what I if Q is here, he can help help out here or whatever. Ne? But now because your hand is here, I'm taking out the 500 now to say I, I'll pay for the All of a sudden he will beat the Piri 5 million fee. How understand? you don't know how? Like, <laughs> how? Like, like, I'm I'm me, I would be like, okay, I'll pay it. Shut up. Yeah, but no, but yeah, there's yeah, a way yeah. of me doing it. I can just like pass it under the table and be like, ah, not, 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 Oh, in terms of like ar- arrogance. Yeah, oh. no, not, not besides arrogance. There's a way that I can act in a situation that's not going to make you Oh, shot like a five clipper, I win, I'm out. Yeah, you see, I'm oh. not going to do that. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, other times I'm going to be like, I can I can take out that five clipper, but I could be like, oh, here's the, the 500 plus, I still owe you 300. Ne? No, get out, guy. And yeah. and out, you know, but I'm, I know you know that I Q is actually yeah. paying for everything. Yeah. He's just finding a way to twist it. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. That Bruce sometimes instigate that, bro. You understand? You can't have a, a friendship with the Han to a point where I'm no longer even like where she can tell you things, like you're comfortable saying things. You understand? Like she gets a certain amount of excess that she's not supposed to have. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Otherwise, DJ Cleo is saying that influencers are taking more gigs than DJs right now. Yes, sir. Because women are selling more than anything. Mm. But I'm kidding. But, hey. <laughs> but it's true, though. Anyway, women are selling. we close the show yeah, today. We good. thank you guys for joining in. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, Mo, what's the last words, boy? Oh, man. It's Chai, man. I, I don't even have last words, guys. Like, ish, yeah. Nah, I shy. thought the, the show was going to be long. I'm right now. Ish. It's, hey, it's shy. Man. Nah, shout out, shout out, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. We love you. Remember, we only preach love this side. No hate, no nothing. It's just all love and peace, man. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. We out. Bye. Yeah. Hello.